This video is going to cover the eye. There is a list here. Once again, these are sort of the major parts of an eye. Can't take anatomy, especially a lab portion, and not have, have covered this sort of thing. So what we have here are some labeled examples and some that are not labeled. So what you do is you start on the outside. This area here, the white area, is called the sclera. Tough part, it's the white part of the eye. When you look at someone, you see their you, know, you have the color part, which is the iris, and the white part, that's the sclera. Now, the cornea is this in the front. It's actually a clear part of the sclera <clears throat> there. And would be where a person would be seeing out of their eye. That's the clear part of the sclera. The choroid coat is represented by this. Um, I want to highlight that. That little darker area here where it says choroid, it actually is, is pretty vascular. Um, there's another eye I gave you. See the, this is the choroid, this middle layer here. And you can see little arteries and veins in it um, there. And um, anyway, that's, uh, and see, it's blown up there, but it's, it's very vascular. And it even says here, here's the choroid right there. So going back to the list, um, anyway, those, these are all layers. This yellow layer on the very inside is the retina. And this little spot in the back is called the fovea centralis. See it there? Um, now I know it says um, macula lutea is talking about the little ring on the outside, but we're just going to call this whole little thing in the back, that's the fovea centralis. That's where a person gets its best vision, their best vision. That's all cones, and um, when the light hits there, that's the clearest vision. The ciliary muscle. Are, is this little area here with the little uh, white ligaments see ciliary body and then it comes down it has uh, suspensory ligaments the ciliary muscle and I know it's called a body in that example is how the light how an eye can um, focus uh, near point accommodation that kind of thing because here's the lens you see these little these ligaments they attach to the lens um, I don't see it. This is, I like this diagram, but anyway, that's the, um, ciliary muscle part. I know in our other diagram it was called, oops, it was called the, um, yeah, the body, but whatever. We're going to call it the ciliary muscle. Um, the iris is the colored portion of the eye. Now, most diagrams, it's going to be this little area here. Uh, if a person has blue eyes, green eyes, it's because of the iris. That's the part that's the colored. The opening is the pupil. So inside there, uh, this other diagram might have a little better. Well, see, in this, I like this because you, you can see the colored part. See, there's the iris and there's the pupil. There's the lens. Uh, this little clear area, Not I'm not talking about the retina. But you see the outline here, that's the vitreous body, which is fluid. Uh, the eye is, is filled with fluid. Yeah, see it there. Um, and let me see on our, that uh, doesn't really say, but that's what this kind of clear, looks like it's cloudy. See up here, you can't see it, but all that, which is, it's a jelly type of thing. Anyway, is the vitreous body. And it says here, aqueous humor, which is in the front, but that's the vitreous humor in the back. So, uh, yeah, vitreous body, okay. Optic disc is in the back portion of the eye, right there, you see it? It says blind spot, there's no photoreceptors there. And this in the back here is the optic nerve. Oops, right there, optic nerve. And so let's go back, you can see right there, in fact, this actually blew up the fovea centralis here. But there's the optic disc, and that's the optic nerve. And that's all the parts of the eye.